Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another week in my life in New York City. I had a very productive morning. It's Monday. I'm headed over to Brooke's apartment to record our weekly episode of Gals on the Go podcast, but I just wanted to stop on and say hi before I keep on going with the vlog. If you're new, subscribe. It's gonna be a really good week. My last vlog, if you guys didn't watch, you should go watch. It really set me up for a good week, honestly for a good month, so I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, let's get this. Hey, look at you! Fresh off her music festival. You look very tan. Oh, thank you, I've been self-tanning. It looks fabulous. I love it. We're about to start recording. We just had a call. I'm about to have a Starbucks protein box. I love it. Sans peanut butter, of course, thank for my you. queen. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I got back from Brooks like an hour ago and I've been sitting here trying to figure out how to use this. I got a Steadicam tripod um, because I'm doing like a special video tomorrow that you guys will see probably in a week or two. Um, <clears throat> and... I wanted to have a steady hand and I saw this one at Best Buy and I didn't realize how complex steady cams were. So I'm sitting here watching this YouTube video and I'm like embarrassed. I like for the life of me, I can't figure it out. And I don't know, like, and it's for something I'm filming tomorrow. So this is on me. I mean, I don't need it. It was just like to make the video even better for you guys. So I had a really nice steady hand and it looked really cool. But I, I really have been sitting here. I've watched three different YouTube tutorials and I can't get my camera to like face up. My camera's not on angle and it's supposed to be like, <sighs> I'm getting frustrated. So I need to like take a break for a second and I have other stuff that I can do in my apartment, but I will figure this out and it will be cool. <laughs> If you guys watched my last vlog where I organized my literal life, I made an Amazon order and this is one of the things I got. Um, I think I'm gonna put it right here. I measured, it's supposed to fit. But in here, I wanna put my toothbrush, retainer, stuff like that, just so it's a little bit more organized. So we'll do that here in a second. Okay, update. When I measured, I mean, I had to kind of squeeze it, but it actually ended up fitting here. I have my tongue scraper, all of my dental things right there, and it just, well, we'll put Ryan's toothbrush in there too. How about it? How sweet. He'll be included. Easy. I mean, it doesn't like look all amazing, but I like it better instead of it being like all in here. So that's one just little improvement to my bathroom. Okay, second project done. Feeling a little bit more hopeful after the study cam. Um, I just got this in the mail from Amazon. I also talked about ordering this in my last vlog and it came. I put this together. I mean, all I had to do was put it in the drawers with the nails and the knobs, but it was a little win for today. Um, I'm so happy with how this looks. It looks so much better. So I had this thing, which is great. However, it's very open facing. So there's just like everything is out and it was just stressing me out. It was just like the little things. But I think this looks a lot more elevated. I think this is technically like a something to put your computer on. <laughs> but I really liked it. I'll have these both linked down below. And for now, I just grabbed these cups. Actually, Margo Lee got them for me as little housewarming. They're so cute. Because um, I do need somewhere to put my pens. And then these are just like my quick lip balms and hand sanitizers and then like I have my G7X and charger in there like ideally no I, l I like them on the side like this for now ideally nothing will go here I mean that won't happen forever but and then in here I have like random dollar bills and like gift cards here I have lip balms and lipsticks like my go-to so like if I'm going out the door and I'm just like okay what are my favorites and then under here I have my supplements I did like this because it had this little under thing so I could just put I always pull for my camera charger, my birth control, and my supplements. So we've got that. And then this one, I have all kinds of like literal random stuff. So yeah, I am really, really happy with how this looks. I think it's nice because it's one of the first things you see when you walk into my apartment. Um, I need to clean this off so you can see the full vision. Hold on. Like that looks good. I'm very, very, very happy with this. I still need to hang up this photo i'm just basically in my last vlog i was talking about how since i am renewing my lease i just want to finish up this apartment and just get it to the full potential i also want to do like a full-on really cool edited apartment tour like i did in my last apartment so i'm just doing things that i've been putting off because i was like all right let me make sure i'm staying here i just was waiting to see what my renewal would be and it was reasonable 
so yeah i'm really happy with this if you guys have any suggestions i kind of wish these were also white or i had something else white here so it's less clutter looking but i don't hate it these glasses are so cute and it's doable for now we'll see how well i'm able to maintain this because what was happening was I was just having stuff pile up here like it's nice to have a landing spot and I'm sure it'll still be that in some ways but um yeah you guys are probably like oh my gosh enough about this little area but for me this is a huge moment okay one thing I got from my mom and I just absolutely love I hate when you go to butter your toast and it's like your butter's cold little things but I have I've had this in my last apartment too this is from Amazon it's a little butter dish I am telling you, it's just the best thing. My friends are always like, will that go bad? And I'm like, no. So I just get my Kerrygold butter here, and I've been, I left it out all day so it got nice and soft, just because it's easier. Actually, it probably would have been easier to cut when it wasn't soft, but I wasn't thinking. Okay. So I just, it's like a big block, so I cut it in half, and then I just put, it's a little messy, it right there. Sounds of the city outside. And then, I've got my butter for the morning. It's nice and um, warm and already melted and easy to apply to my toast. And then I just put this in the fridge. Easy as that. Actually, yeah, I definitely don't know why I didn't cut it up earlier, but I just wanted to not forget because I didn't want to come to the morning and I go to butter my toast and my butter's not soft. Anyways, little things, okay? One thing about me, like I love a late night project and my parents just always have just laughed at me for that. It's it's weird. I decide like during the day when it's sunny out and it's I could be doing other things, I'm like, I don't want to do this. And then as soon as it's dark out and I start to get sleepy, that's when I decide like right now, you guys can't see, but I am putting together a piece of furniture for my bedroom because it just, it has to happen right now. I don't know why, I don't, it's just the way I am. Like most people are like, okay, I'm gonna wait till the morning. But for me, I need to do it right now. And it's pretty simple and I just, I want to see this in my bedroom. I'm so excited. It's this piece of furniture that I keep talking about that I'm replacing the black thing in my corner of my bedroom and putting this and putting all of my duffel bags and stuff like that in and I'm very, very excited. So tune in in a second. Ta-da! Oh my gosh, I literally love this so much. It's the perfect set. Wait, I'm kind of thinking it might be the same. I have to look if it's the same brand because I got that on Wayfair as well. If so, it's going to tie in with my bedroom. Look how big and deep this is. I'm really curious to see. So this is going to go over here. I have so many bags hiding behind this. Like everything is going to fall. My dad really likes this piece. He's like, can you find somewhere else to put it? I don't think I do, unless I got rid of the chair and put this over there. I love it, it's from Anthropology, but it's just not very functional. Like, it only has my hats and belts. I was hiding so much back there. Ugh. Let's see if I can fit it all in the dresser now. I have so much shit. <laughs> I feel like I'm due for a little vacuum back here. Woo. Oh my god, obsessed. Way more the vibe. And I could even, I don't even have to put it. I could just like. I think that actually looks worse, but like I don't have to have it on an angle. And I have so much room if I get new nightstands that have more storage. I think I like it on an angle, but like I could do whatever. Oh my gosh, this looks so pretty. Hallelujah. So up here we have my like everyday tote bags. Here I have another bag and then a ton of like pouches and then down here. I have like my bigger duffels and my backpack. And it fits also nicely. The only thing is this is like a little structured. So I need to figure out. Well, I could probably just put the put that on a slant. So now this corner is looking a lot better because I had literally piles 
of tote bags everywhere. However, Miss Suitcase here is living over here right now. So, <laughs> one battle at a time. It's like, okay, got this area organized. Now I have the suitcase, but I need the suitcase. Okay, for now, I put my suitcase like directly behind the chair and it actually doesn't look bad, especially from afar. It blends in kind of nicely, so happy with that. I'm thinking I really don't use this light a lot. It's just a little extra brighter if I needed it. And it definitely brings more light in, but I think it kind of just makes this area a little more cluttered. And I don't really need it, honestly. I'm loving how that looks right there. So I'm kind of feeling like it might be cool if I got rid of this chair and then got that same piece, because it's not very expensive from Wayfair, and like put it catty, or I don't know, across, not catty corner, from that. So they're matching, and if I ever wanted, I could put them next to each other. And then they're like, you know, buddies from across the pond. And I can always use more storage. I don't know. That's a later thought. Or I could put that black thing over here, but I'm kind of just, I don't know. Well, comment down below. This is always fun. <laughs> oh, and I also said in my last video, I'm kind of wanting to get rid of the plant. It just doesn't belong in here, I don't think. It looked good in my last apartment, but I kind of just want to get rid of the plant and then get two bigger nightstands that cover all those cords. All those cords really bother me, and I feel like it would just look a lot cleaner and nicer in here if I had furniture to cover it. And then I would have storage so I could like put my Kindle and stuff in there. Um, I'm being repetitive at this point, but I just, I really have a vision. Apartment is looking as cozy as ever. I kind of want to sit down and watch a show, but also I feel like I'll never get off my couch. Feeling nice and tidy. I swear by the end of this week, my apartment's going to be looking different, especially by the end of next week, I feel like. Um, I'm going to take measurements tomorrow for nightstands and figure out my chair and stuff like that. But I just started this book um, yesterday because um, I was like, I kind of want to read more of a self-help book. This is a memoir. It's called Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. I've just heard the best things. And when I posted this on my story, so many of you said amazing things about it and I've really enjoyed it so far so I kind of just want to snuggle up into bed I have a very busy day tomorrow so I want to get some good sleep I'm vibing with my outfit today, so that's why I'm in an extra mood. <laughs> We're going to Nantucket next weekend, so I'm just mentally preparing right here. I've got a busy day, and I don't necessarily need to be dressed up for anything, but I want it to look kind of decent. And I was gonna just wear like a really nice athleisure outfit, and I was like, you know what? It's summer. Like, it's the same thing as wearing like a tank top and linen pants. It's still comfortable and you just look a little like you tried harder, but really I'm just as comfortable. Um, and I also just got these sunglasses from Amazon. I'll have them linked below, but I really, really like them. And these earrings are anthropology. <clears throat> this is the Emily jacket, I think, from J. Crew. This is one of those, <laughs> me just giving it out for the day, I guess. Uh, unique low tank tops. Clara Purse fully inspired me on this. Um, they have built-in bras life changer anyways we have a busy day today and i'm keeping my sunglasses on because i don't have makeup and yeah first stop sonia's brow bar i'm getting my brows done they literally just like trim and tweeze and then they also fill them in they make your eyebrows look literally so good i go to Susie there she's amazing i love her and then from there i'm actually headed with brooke to tour a podcast studio we keep changing our minds on like the podcast um video portion we did a WeWork office for a while and tried to make our own studio and then we were like, F that. We're gonna do it in our own apartments, which we still like and we know you guys like the vibes. However, 
we like the idea of going to a podcast studio. There's many here in the city. And it would be so fun because I feel like I'd be more inspired to get a little bit more dressed up. Honestly, our TikToks and Reels do better if we like look nicer, obviously. Like I like to be comfortable when we record, but sometimes I think it's more pleasing to the eye if we're dressed up. And I think it'd be more inspiring to want to get all dressed up, to go into a studio, an office, if you will, once a week to record the podcast. I think we'd also be more inspired to have more guests on because it's not like they're coming into our apartment. Like we would have a video and audio engineer there that we come in and we leave and we get sent all the footage, which would be really cool um and something new so we're gonna go see if it fits um we found one that we haven't seen like other people record at so we we're like oh this could be different for us um so we're gonna go there and tour it um so i'm really excited about that and then after that i'm not gonna vlog what i'm doing next because i'm making a whole other video about it but i'm doing something fun today for a video that i think a lot of you guys are gonna find super helpful if you're moving to new york or if you want to move to new york so but that's just gonna not happen in this but that's gonna cut out a lot of hours of the day so you guys will not see that and then i'm getting it's a big appointment day i'm getting my lashes lifted and tinted i do this um i think it's every six to eight weeks is like the allowance that you can do it so i'm going back i go to michelle beauty by michelle she's amazing and while we do this new thing now, while she has my lashes lifting and tinting, <laughs> uh, she dermaplanes my whole face, which will be so nice because I have lots of like peach fuzz and it's just good to get like dead skin off, everything like that. But it's more so just like to get my little peach fuzzies off. She just does it. It actually feels randomly so good. Um, and then I actually have dinner tonight with my friend Hannah. Uh, she does TikTok and social media as well. But every time we see each other at events, we're like, feel like we'd get along and so we made dinner reservations um to go to holiday bar in west village tonight which i've actually always wanted to go to it's i believe it's the same owners as american bar so i feel like it's gonna be good oh this is nice this is a new little setup i could put you guys on my new um amazon situation feeling grateful i also just booked a labor day trip with a few of my friends uh and we're going to miami <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in a good mood. Big summer blot, okay? Um, so that means I'm gonna be going from Nantucket to Miami literally the next weekend, but more vlogs for you guys. I have to decide if I'll vlog in Miami. I have to decide. But anyways, yeah, this is the fit. Um, we're gonna be a gal on the go today. I wish there was an invention where you could like, like I love how this looks, but if you do this, then there, I mean, I guess that is what people do, but. I love this, how it lays. I almost want to like pin it. I wonder if people do that, like stylists and stuff. I, I don't know. Comment down below. I'm just gonna wear some Reebok sneakers to be comfortable, but let's get on with the day. So much time has passed. Um, I did all my stuff today and then I ended the day with a lash lift and tint with Michelle and a dermaplane. My skin feels amazing. And I also showered right before I went there and washed my hair because my hair was in the slick back and it was honestly making my head hurt so bad. So my hair is still kind of drying. Um, I ordered Shannon Ford's merch. This is my spray tan shirt, which I don't have a spray tan right now, but this is the shirt I will wear when I get a spray tan. I'm doing more things. I got more home improvement things in the mail today that I ordered on Amazon, so I'll show you. This is the first thing. I got this to organize my hair ties and my scrunchies. Like you can put like your biggest ones here, your middle ones, small ones, however you want. I saw it online. They have a ton of different ones. They have ones with like bigger cylinders. Um, but I was like, this is nice and skinny. I can fit it in my shower caddy, no problem. My I keep calling it my shower caddy, my bathroom caddy, you know what I mean? Um I love how I just turn on the camera when I look like this. You know what? It's whatever. We're hanging out. Um, I was supposed to have dinner with a friend tonight. Oh, yeah, I told you guys. Um, but she had to cancel. Um, and I'm sad because I definitely will we'll hang soon. But honestly, 
I wasn't mad that I didn't have to get all dressed up and go out to dinner. And I have ingredients here, so as sad as I am, I'm we're gonna we already are rescheduling, so it's fine. And I can just chill here. And I actually have like a lot of work to catch up on because when I'm out and about doing stuff all day, I'm not on my computer, and I don't love doing emails on my phone. So, e emails on my phone. So yeah. Oh, it also came with these little things. I think that might be to put on the bottom, maybe, to kind of block the screw. Okay, just kidding. I'm pretty sure those sticker things were supposed to be for the top, but you know what? You know what? We are fixing it now. Oh, this one's loose again. This was like so cheap on Amazon, so I'm not surprised. But once I get that one nice and tightened, this is so cool. Organize your hair time. Ta-da! I mean, it doesn't like look super cute here, I guess, but for me, it's a lot more organized and just customizing my caddy here is really changing the game for me. So I'm happy it fits nice. I've got like my smaller hair ties there. This one I could not tighten. And then my, my medium like scrunchies and then my big scrunchies, huge for the program. The other two things I got in the mail, I got this, which is like a little ice scooper. Someone was at my apartment recently and they were like, you want me to just grab the ice with my hands? <laughs> And I was like, yeah, I guess actually I should definitely wash this first, but you get the point. I'll just have it sitting in there, so, because then it's better to not be using your hands. And then I also got these belt organizers. I was in between these or the circular ones that you pile on top of each other, which I think are even cuter. However, I think based off of where I plan to put these, it makes more sense because you can put five. So I bought two of them because I counted. I have 10 belts right now, so if I get any more belts, I'm going to have to get another one, but... For now, I thought it was perfect. So you just wrap all your belts up. So we'll do that here in a second. All right, I put all my belts in. I really love how this looks. The belt buckles stay on top really nicely and you can just pull it out. Boom, done. I have to figure out exactly where I'm gonna put these. My idea was the closet. Oh, if I did get one of these, another one of these, then I would put my belts in there. But I don't have room in that one. Or I could put my belts, like, I can even just put them on the ground under my pants. Like, I want them to be near my pants, you know? I'm now, I was cozied up watching Gossip Girl, but I was like, I have to start making dinner. Ryan's coming over, and we're gonna cook dinner together, but I'm gonna get it started, because I'm hungry. He's coming from the gym. Gonna do good old green beans, chicken, and couscous. One of our favorite go-tos. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm getting spoiled today. I love it. See, easy smile for me. This looks delicious. One of Ryan and I's favorite meals to make. I make the greens and the grains and Ryan does the meat. Works out perfectly. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday and I think my August blues are finally gone. I don't want to jinx it, but I'm just feeling really good the last few days, especially today. I honestly think last week, I was about to start my period and I just need to remember the week before is actually worse at least for me I think everyone's different, but I'm just feeling good. My apartment is just feeling very in order Which I think also just makes me good. I slept in braids last night because I just let my hair air dry and I don't know We'll see how it looks, but I don't even I'm not even like getting dressed up today or anything. We're like going to the gym and stuff um What was I gonna say? I didn't even say on my way home last night for my lashes, I stopped by TJ Maxx because I just, I hadn't been to that TJ Maxx. And I wanted to see what they had. And I bought Ryan some shirts because he always likes new shirts and they were like $7. Uh, so I was showing him those last night. And then I also got these three pound dumbbells because I always like um, just having them on hand if I just want to do a quick like arm workout. Um, usually I do it to like the beat of a song. Um, kind of like if you go to a spin class, stuff like that. It's just always good to have. Um, I don't know. So I got those. And they actually look kind of cute there, but I'm not going to keep them there. I also showed these last night, but Ryan was like running late last night and I was waiting for him to cook the chicken and it was because he got me flowers. And I have to say, ladies, we've been dating four years. I talked about this. I talked about this on last week's podcast. So I'm wondering if someone gave him a tip, but why well, I talked about it on the podcast last week because he, recently he's actually been really good about getting me flowers. It's just such an easy thing to make a girl go crazy and it makes me so happy and it makes me happy to think like, oh, he thought of me on his way back from the gym to eat dinner with me. So he got me these beautiful flowers. I really like how they, they almost look fake. 
I don't know. Um, but he's been like the last few months, he's been getting me flowers all the time, which I really, really appreciate. It's just something so little, but makes me so happy. I do think it takes like a breaking point because I think there was one moment where I was just like, I just want flowers. Like, I just need you to know I really, really, really want flowers. I think I literally shed a tear and that might be so dramatic, but I got it in his brain and now he gets flowers all the time and I love it. Speaking of flowers, these are the flowers I got myself on Sunday and she said to change the water every day and cut the stems because I'm determined to make my hydrangeas last longer than a few days and it is Wednesday and they still look pretty good. This one's starting to fall a little bit so I'm going to put more flower food in and cut the stems just a tad. I mean because they're like the perfect length and change the water. Um, I'm determined and I went to like a florist so I th I'm like are their hydrangeas better? Maybe they were newer. friends it's a few hours later now i basically came home with my smoothie that is now definitely done and sat here and just cleared out my inbox and then as emails came in just responded to those got pretty much everything on my to-do list done that involves a computer um i still have my workout clothes on because i was like if i get if i shower i'm gonna get comfy and i'm not gonna want to sit here so we just got it all done I also want to update, I think since changing the water, cutting the stems, and adding more flower food, my hydrangeas look a lot more lively again. So that woman did not steer me wrong. I got sent this super nice, super beautiful watch from Michelle. Um, I am like freaking out. My aunt loves Michelle watches and they are just so beautifully made. I've been wearing my watch bracelet from Electric Picks like every single day and it's definitely making me want to watch. And then they sent me this beautiful two-tone one. However, I can't wear it because, you know, it needs to be sized. So Ryan actually told me about a place um, in the West Village near me that he got a watch size. So I think I'm going to run over there now while I have my workout stuff on. Um, and then come back and shower. Let's get this baby sized. We're back. I got my watch sized. It's, I literally love the two-tone so much. I have to get used to seeing a watch on my wrist. I'm not going to wear it like all the time, especially when I'm like working out. So I'm going to take it off, but I walked back with it on just because I want to see. The guy whose name is Ruben at Timepiece on Greenwich Ave highly suggest he said they also do jewelry repair and stuff like that and they were so nice like i love them well hello there i took a shower and i put in the vega more i think it's called the hydrate hair mask so i just slicked my hair back and there's a lot of mask in there and we're just gonna see how long i can keep it soaking with a claw clip but i just put on a little bit of makeup and put on a nice sweater because my friend kit's doing this new series on her tiktok where she has her friends comment like, oh, like last week she did with Lauren Wolf and she was like, I'm craving a lobster roll. Kit made her a lobster roll that day and brought it to her. And Kit asked if I wanted to do it. And I was like, uh, yeah, I want I've never had her cooking before. I think I've had like a salad she's made before. But that was it. And I got to pick. So I was like, well, I love Italian. So I, I commented, I said, I'm craving chicken vodka pasta. So 
she said she'll be coming over very shortly with my dinner. I'm so excited. I'm actually going for a walk tonight with my friend Daly, who we went to college together. We were like, she was literally one of my first friends at Georgia and she lives here in the city. So we were like, let's do a West Side Highway walk. So I'm gonna get sweaty again and I'm gonna need a shower again, but hence I have my hair in this mask so I can rinse it out tonight. Um, so I, I feel like I might take my makeup off when we go for that walk. I don't know, maybe I'll keep it on. But anyways, I just, I wanted to look good because I think Kit's going to show me in her TikTok. And if I look like a slob, I'm going to hate myself. So it's just going to be me like trying the food. So I'm excited. I should probably check if she's texting me. I don't think she has my address. She's been here once before. But yeah, I'm very, very excited for my chicken vodka pasta. This is Lush Lust. It smells really good. It's really intense, but it's like... It has like elong elong in it, sandalwood, rose, it's just dreamy. It's so good. Oh my gosh, Hi. this is so, so cute. So what is it? It's chicken vodka pasta and it's giving carbone. Not oh my God, I myself. literally it's cannot really wait. Guys. And she it's gave really me two good. and you wrapped it all cute. One for you, one for Ryan or like one for He's gonna be Ryan. obsessed. No, it's for Ryan now. He's gonna love that, thank you. <laughs> Guys, this is literally so good. That was so nice of Kit to make for me. I just ate it. I'm like about to eat it all. Kit just left a little bit ago and then I literally finished the pasta. It was so good. Packing my little hot girl walk bag. I used the little lemon extra large bag. I also have the smaller one, but it's in black and I need to get the extra large in the black because I literally use it all the time. Tampon, honey, AirPods, wallet. That pretty much does it. I wish... There's an easier way to like bring a water bottle, but I'm just gonna thirst myself because, ah, because sunglasses are from Amazon. I'm obsessed with them. I feel like, I just feel like a celebrity. I don't know. I'm not, I don't actually feel like that. I just think it's cute. I'm gonna put on some sneakers and I'm gonna go meet Dahlia on West Side Highway. I cannot wait to catch up about her life because the funniest things happen to her and I just need to hear her about her life and it's good. To get a good walk in. Oh, I need to put on sneakers. <laughs> I just walk out of here barefoot. Yay. <laughs> oh my God, this is amazing. All right, we are along West Side Highway. Say hi, Dilly. Hi. And we've gathered a straggler. Oh, look who it is, back from Europe. Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. Hi, Barbie. <laughs> and the sky is so beautiful and we're on a walk. We just ran into some other friends. I love it. Woo. Got a lot of movement in today. I actually need to see how many steps because I feel like I did a lot of walking. Like I walked to the gym and back and then I also walked just doing other errands. How do I look at my steps? Got my legs, the like last 10 minutes of my walk back, I was just like, bring her home. Walked for like an hour and a half down West Side Highway. That was so fun. As you guys saw, I ended up running into Kit, Audrey, Margo, Danny, and yeah. So it was just crazy. Oh my God, 17,000 steps. I wish I hit 20,000, but we will take it. That's amazing. I feel so good. Like I wanna try and just do some sort of, I would love to walk down Westside Highway every day, but I don't always get there. And Daly and I just had the best time. We were like, we need to do this more because we both live on the West Side. Now that Caitlin lives here, it'd be fun for her and I to go for walks. She need to find a new person to walk with every day. It's a great way to like catch up with someone instead of like going to dinner because then it's like it costs money to eat and then you're eating out and then you have to get all dressed up whereas a walk it's so nice you walk and talk it's less awkward because you're walking next you're not sitting across the table from each other it's not like formal and you get like movement in which i love so now i'm gonna finally wash um this mask out of my hair and like do a full shower because i'm feeling very sweaty and yeah but whoo that was great everybody i just had the most fabulous breakfast i decided to make myself a little breakfast sandwich now i'm having lunch <laughs> just kidding but i do have all these ingredients to make this salad ryan and i made this salad like 
few weeks ago, maybe right before the Hamptons, I can't remember. Um, and it's like butter lettuce with grilled chicken and like red onions, tomatoes, just kind of like whatever I want to throw in there, but it was so good. I actually put avocado in it, so I need to go get avocado, but I think what made it really good is I marinated the chicken in Italian dressing. This is the best Italian dressing. I feel like a lot of people already know that, but it's good seasons, and if you buy it on Amazon, it comes with this, and some grocery stores too. You can buy it, and it comes with a few packs, so I I pretty much soak it in one full thing, but usually you would make this and have this for like all of your salads, but um, yeah, I'm soaking the chicken in it. So I'm going to do that now so I don't regret it later because I kind of want to make this for a late, for like an early, like a lunch situation that I can also have for dinner. Um, so yeah, you basically mix this with, yeah, there's like a water line and a vinegar line. Okay, there's no, oh yeah, you do add oil as well and then you shake it all together. So I'm gonna do that right now. But while I do it, I'm gonna keep watching Gossip Girl because I'm just in a Gossip Girl mood these days. I've probably rewatched this like eight times. I'm in the worst season right now. I hate when like Chuck is dating Eva, Dan has a baby, Juliet, Nate. Like I just hate this era, but it's fine. All right, we're getting ready for today's workout. I'm going to do a Sculpt Society workout um, with one of their instructors that I've never taken a class from before. His name is Matt, and I'm doing like a private with him and Kit. Um, I'm excited, I really like Sculpt Society. As you guys know, it's like cardio dance into like Sculpt workout. Um, it's not easy. I love how we start off with dance. That's really fun, and we end with dance. Um, and it's a really good like cardio workout, but sandwiched in between those two dance moments, it's intense sculpt. Anything ab related, I'm really not good at. Like I, I don't have a strong core and it's really hard for me and Kit literally is fit queen. So it's so funny when it's her and I working out, I'm like, oh my God, I cannot hang. But I'm proud of myself and I'm excited for my walk there. This is the fit, Lululemon, Lululemon, my Brooks sneakers, Amazon socks, and we're going to get on with the day. My favorite post-workout treat. Good culture, cottage cheese, baby. Hallelujah. The first bite always hits so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay, before I shower, we're gonna cook my lunchy dinner. It's hopefully gonna be both. I just went to the grocery store and picked up the ripest avocado I could find because I'm literally about to cut it up. It's this one. Red onion, cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes, one of the two, I don't know, many tomatoes, and then lots of lettuce. I'm going to start with the butterhead lettuce, but since I also want to use some of this for dinner, I got more of just like romaine. Or I could mix the lettuces, that would be yummy, but this stuff is amazing. Oh, and the chicken, of course, that's been marinating for a few, like two hours. I guess it's not amazing, but it's better than nothing. And we're gonna grill it. I usually have Ryan help me with the grill, but like I can do it. I got this. So we're gonna do that. I 
I chilled my lettuce this time, so I put ice and water and the lettuce in there, and it's freezing cold. Alrighty, she doesn't look stunning because I already mixed it, but she's amazing. Avocado, tomato, lettuce, chicken, red onion, Italian dressing. This is what people don't talk about though. All the freaking cleaning I have to do now. Hi guys, it is so much later now. I don't even know the last time we spoke. Oh, when I made the salad, I think. And then I showered and I got computer work done and then I, I had someone come help me film a really fun Instagram reel for a brand that I love working with. So there was just not much to be vlogged. But I'm about to go for another walk because now I'm on a walk buzz. So fun yesterday, and as you guys know, my best friend Caitlin moved to the city, and she was like, hey, I wanna go for a Westside Highway walk. I was like, boom, done, we're going tomorrow night. So I'm so excited. I like forget that she lives here, it's so exciting. So I'm gonna go walk to her, and then we're gonna walk down the highway, catch up, because we have plans together tomorrow night, but with like a big group of people, so this way we can have some one-on-one -on -one time. Wearing this Outdoor Voices exercise dress, so comfy. Dagny Dover, um, this is a Dagny Dover like belt bag. Maybe I should wear it this way so you don't see the buckle. I don't know what's better. And then I just threw my hair up. I have like light makeup on. I've been trying out the Hourglass Skin Tint just for like kind of like no makeup vibes. But yeah, I'm gonna put on some sneakers and then we're gonna go for a walk. Look who it is, NYC local check. We're on a walk. I look like I'm walking with a bottle of beer, but it's just Topo Chico, I swear. Hello. I just feel, well one, I feel amazing because I just showered. My freaking, well, it's only my second shower of the day, not my third of the day. I just feel so lucky. Yeah, we had the best night. We went for an hour and a half long walk and then we ended up, we were both starving and we were like, let's, I was gonna eat my salad, but I'll just have that tomorrow for lunch. Um, we were like, oh, let's just grab like some tacos at Tacombi. I love Tacombi because it's so easy. You just like get everything a la carte. It's like pretty reasonably priced for New York. It's right in the West Village on Cornelia Street. And uh, so we just sat there and then it was just so crazy. Like we we're like, okay, bye. Like, see you like we're going to dinner tomorrow. It was just really cool. Like she just lives here now. Like it's just really, that's how I felt like when Delaney first moved here too. It's really cool. Um, and it's really extra nice because Caitlin lives a lot closer to me than Delaney. I wish Delaney lived closer to me. But I'm seeing Delaney tomorrow night too, which is great. But it's cool because like Caitlin and I had like four years of not, or five years because she lived in Charlotte. No, six years because four years of college and then yeah, two years of her living in Charlotte. We haven't lived in the same city in so long and we've like stayed close and like visited each other but now we literally live like it's like okay she's like okay i'm just going back to my apartment i was like same um so i just i feel so lucky and like being like going on a walk with daily last night like all my buddies are here so i'm feeling lots i'm just trying to remember this feeling of gratitude and i know life gets crazy and i won't be able to see everyone every day like we did in high school and college but I'm like, I'm like in the trajectory. I'm like, Kayla, we need to go for more walks. Like it's just going for a walk with someone is just so easy. I was talking about this last night, so I'll shut up. But just took a shower and Kayla and I were sitting there at dinner. We were like, oh my God, the new episode of Summer I Turn Pretty is out tonight. I wish we planned it better where we could have like watched it together because I love watching TV with people and like talking about the show. But we were both like, I need to shower and get comfortable. So we're just going to text about it. I don't even know if I'll be able to finish it tonight. I just want to start it. And yeah. That's that. Talked on the phone with my brother for a while. Talked to Ryan. You know, all the things. But actually, I'm gonna end the vlog here. <laughs> I'm gonna end the vlog here because I feel like it's already pretty long. And tomorrow's Friday. I have a busy day of like appointments, so there's no point in even vlogging. So I'll... I'm gonna vlog this weekend, I think. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this vlog, and I will see you guys very soon for our next video. Bye bye.